Patrick, and I would like to welcome every one of you to this fabulous SIRD Virtual World Drumming Event. The style of drums that I play is pipe band snare drumming. There's two distinctive uh, differences uh, between playing pipe band style and other marching rudimental military styles of drumming. Uh, the first difference is actually the drum that we play. The, uh, the drum that I'm playing today is uh, an axial snare drum. It's a new drum uh, developed uh, and made in Great Britain by the British Drum Company. One of the main differences is this drum has a top snare mechanism. All drums have uh, bottom snare mechanisms. This one has a top snare mechanism as well, so it's a double snare. And, and this is to bring out the clarity and help with the articulation and to let uh, people hear uh, the very, very close playing that we are accustomed to using within the competition field. Uh, so I'll just tap it, let you hear it. It's, uh, this is not tensioned up to the maximum, but it's still, it's still pretty tight. And, and we, we do play our, our drums very, very tight. We play, in the pipe band world, we play with a, a very relaxed grip, stick grip. So we, we, there's a lot, particularly myself, I would say, I play with a lot of, a lot of uh, freedom in my hands with the, with the, with, with the fingers. It doesn't mean to say I have any less power or any less volume. Um, I certainly have um, a more subtle feel uh, within my setup when I'm playing. So it's just, I don't know, I think, I hope you see this, it's just really just using the fingers and letting the stick move freely in your hand. So, rudiments are the same. Virtually the same, regardless of what style of drumming you play. It can be, um, you know, an American DCI style. It can be fife and drum. Um, it can be military. Uh, it can be pipe band. It can be many, many, many other forms of of, um, of music and rudimental drumming. So uh, I'll just play. I'm going to play just a few. I'm going to start off just play some party riddles, just to let you to, to let you hear. Um, the feel that we put into um, what we do with our rudiments. So this is just a combination of singles, doubles and triples, party levels. of my fingers to uh, propel the sticks and make them move and so it's all about the sound and it's all about the, uh, the control and then what happens after that is we tweak and we shift the rudiments and, and, and into phrasings and um, to try and bring out what you need to play uh, for your the music that you actually are, are involved in. Um, so pipe band, pipe band music is really based on, it used to be based a lot on marches, like 2-4 uh, marches, 3-4 marches, 4-4 four, four marches. But now it's, um, it's moved on to uh, many other things where they play chaspés, reels, uh, jigs, horn pipes. So that, that allows a little bit more uh, flexibility and, and, and creates um, a really good challenge and gives you the opportunity to um, explore uh, everything about what you're playing within your technique. One of the differences again is, um, I think what we play is, we, we play a lot of closed rolls or buzz rolls. Um, now this was, this comes from the, the, the Mamidari. When I, when I learned 
to play, I was taught to play a closed role or a buzz role. Uh, I wasn't allowed just to go into a, a role, I was taught to play a closed role or a buzz role and take it from the double stroke role. So the, the, the double stroke tap, uh, we call it mommy daddy. And so I'll play that and then into the um, and into a closed role, and I'll play some accents, give you a flavour of some of the um, some of the accents and the feels and the sounds and um, rhythms that we play, just within the closed role rudimental, rudimental style. So that's just kind of random uh, accents, random rhythms, um, and random phrasing uh, to just show you uh, how we kind of express ourselves when we're playing uh, closed role movements. Um, now the role also leads you into playing other, uh, some more quite interesting uh, phrases and rhythms. Uh, for instance, we play, we use the five stroke role um, a lot when we're playing uh, some little uh, swing rhythms, uh, so cut and dot um, phrases. So let me just play some, um, some closed five stroke rolls and bring them into um, uh, some what we call uh, buzzies as well. So we've got, uh, you've got the buzz stroke and five stroke rolls. This is typical pipe band, uh, drumming pipe band style. Um, one of the things that we, we, we kind of often uh, get compared to is when some people hear, uh, hear us playing, I've been doing drum clinics for the, the vast majority of my life and um, one of the, the, the things that people say to me a lot is it sounds like you're playing jazz. Um, I never ever thought about that um, but then when you break it down and, and when you when you think about how you play, and then I played jazz myself when, when I was playing drum kit, um, I, I can sort of see where that comes from. Um, okay, so let's just do some random uh, five stroke rolls, closed buzz rolls, so it's like. The, the open roll would be. Closed roll.
butt stroke is literally you just kill the stick on, on, on the drum. So you're kind of not hitting it dead stroke, but you're just letting it loose enough to create that little blitz. showing you diff different, uh, a few different tweaks um, and different shifts on taking the, the, the standard, the basic rudim rudiment and how we develop into uh, some of the, the, the things that we play. Uh, let me just play a, um, a, a typical pipe band score. This is a pipe band score that I wrote many, many, many years ago. Um, it's actually um, a reel. And I'll just play, I'll play three parts of this, um, the score. And this would be a competition score that I would play in both the pipe band competitive arena and also uh, in like the world uh, solo drumming championships. I would, I would use this material as well. Um, so uh, we don't need to know, know the name, we'll just play um, like three short parts. Give you a flavour of how we actually play within a, a drum score. Um, situation. short parts of, um, of a drum score that would be typical of um, what we would play in, um, in competition or typical of what I would play um, within a band situation or a solo drumming situation. Um, so because rudimental drummers worldwide have a great respect for each other, they have a great respect for everything that everybody else does, all the different styles um, travel has brought us much, much closer together. Uh, the internet has certainly brought us all much closer together. So we're able to share with, with everybody. I'm able to share with, with, with you guys and you're able to share with me and, and the rest of the world um, how you play your particular style and, and you go into some depth in a lot of cases of how how you play, why you play certain ways, and, and also fantastic because we get to know the history behind all the different styles. Um, so because of that, I think what we do, I certainly do, and, and pipe band snare drummers um, have certainly done this for a long time, um, when we hear other forms of, of uh, snare drumming, uh, we take parts of what we like um, and what we hear from all the other styles worldwide and we incorporate it into some of the phrasing and some of the moves uh, that we play. Um, this is particularly evident in what we call drum fanfares which um, pipe band drum corps are quite well known for and what they've done for many many years. So because of the the, the interests and the respect that well, ourselves in the pipe band world have for all you guys. We, um, I'm sorry, but we still as much as we can. And we don't pretend it's ours, 
but we do incorporate it into our own particular style just to mix things up. So I'm going to play a little fanfare that um, a that uh, part of a fanfare that I have, and and you'll probably hear you'll hear a lot of what I do I, and, and what I'm known for, and you'll probably hear and in fact you will hear some of um, the different sounds from. Uh, rudimental cultures and snare drum cultures, military cultures uh, from around the world. snare drummers from across the world and I want to wish everybody the best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> 